A petition is trending right now that will allow dogs to become eligible for food stamps. Now, it argues that if a person's financial situation changes and can no longer afford pet food, that they shouldn't be forced to give up their pets. It's reached 89,000 signatures. It will be presented to the U.S. Department of Agriculture once it hits 90,000. So they're almost there. Let's get right to your comments because everybody, including us, is yeah. on fire about this. Tyler Burnett says, all pets are family, so add them on. Doris Wofford Shoemaker writes, they do say pets help you live longer. She's right. There is a lot of data out there that shows that having a companion animal, a pet, uh, also helps with depressive uh, symptoms and anxiety and social anxiety. So it's a mental health aspect, in my opinion, too. Well, then why not, why not flowers? What? I mean, what if that relaxes you? Like looking at a sunflower every day. What are we, you know, things that help you relax, I don't think that we necessarily need to pay for with our tax money. And honestly, having a pet is a luxury. It's a luxury. It's Say not that to somebody who has nothing, who has somebody who has nothing, and that their pet is the only thing that they look forward to when they're home. But it's not right. fair to the pet if you can't feed the pet as well. If you have the food stamps, then you can feed the pet. Well, I mean, go ahead. Oh, yeah, as of right now, okay, it's as far as this is concerned, SNAP does not cover um, um, pet food, but it does. And, like beer, wine, that kind of thing you can't get with food stamps, but it does cover soft drinks, candy, cookies, snacks, and ice cream see, because those are comfort foods. See, then why don't we take the, 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 the money that's allocated to the junk food so we don't lose money and we put that Because people the will say, food. now you're telling me how to live my life. You're telling me I can't have chips just because I'm on welfare? Like, that's what's going to happen. Look, once you, and then there's whatever there, there's always going to be fraud. So now you're going to have somebody with 10 pets saying, now right. I need two grand in dog food every month. Well, but, then hopefully they, they, they are able to weed those people. Out uh, we can't live on hopefully. Heather Hassenstab says they need to take care of themselves first. Uh, Sharin Kalina writes, no uh, DACA, no pet food stamps. And Again, I, I if agree. I was down and out and somebody took my pet away from me, I don't know what would happen to me. You it, need to get yourself right first before you take care of another person or a pet or would, someone else. It would, it w if I was already suffering from depression and somebody took away my pet, it would but Honestly, I just, it just but it, and it brings up the question because a lot of times my we, my my girlfriend brought this up like sometimes you'll see homeless people with a sign hey want they want food but they have their pet there with them so that must be providing some type of friendship or something to keep them on their feet while they're yep. in between time. Well, yeah, I agree with you. God, I we could go on and on and on about this yeah. topic. And we want to thank you, the viewer, for being our fifth host. Be sure to join us before and during the show on Facebook and YouTube Live to share your comments.